Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to first start off by saying I'm a hot mess. And I've had an extremely busy weekend. But I've watched about a million and a half of these haul videos. And I had a really good haul over the last... It's Sunday. I had a Sunday haul and a Saturday night haul at two different Goodwills, not Ben's, in my town. Um, I love these. Um... Holly Miller's that I bought off Poshmark with you pack and shit. And it felt like I didn't really buy them because uh, I just used redeemable credit. But uh, my name is Kat. I am a full time reseller. I say full time, I have another job too. But it is basically just to keep the benefits. And um, Poshmark is my passion, it's my love. I don't sell on other platforms, not yet. And, um, not in the market to do so right now. Not, never say never. I became a Posh affiliate and I've done that video and I've done a few other Poshmark content videos. Sorry if the lighting's a little off. Um, I got natural light light bulbs, but I don't think that they're doing the trick. They do good on the clothes, but, uh, so I'm coming to you from my Posh room. And um, it's a hot mess like me, but it's great because I've had a great sales weekend and I've also had a great weekend of buys. So to sell, <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to give you a few quick tidbits that tips that help me. I make about um, five to seven hundred to a thousand a week on Poshmark. Um, that's new to me. I used to be much in the more like not even that much in the month. And I started really changing my game. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> I really started um, I really started putting my all into it and sharing more and being more selective about keywords and items. And also, this is something that I do that not everyone agrees with. I watch a lot of these. I and every person, they get a gift. It's got my info. And this has a face mask in it. Uh, my daughter made about 100 of these up. So I'm excited to see how quickly they go. We've already went through the first, about 34 at first. And then they're much cheaper to buy them by the 100. And the face masks on Amazon are about, they... I think I get for thirty dollars I get a hundred, so thirty three cents a piece or something. And then the posh stickers that I got with the and this is just a thank you card, um, kind of just general has my info has a picture of me so you know who you're buying from. Put them on my printer right over there that I print my labels on, and I think it just looks nice. It presents well, and that seems to be a big hit. Now with the men, I haven't found that little not non inexpensive yet cool gift. So I've been sending my daughter, my kids were selling um, these world's finest chocolate, and I have three kids, and they all sold them. So we got stuck with about sixty or eighty that were just not sold to other people. So the men and some women <laughs> have been getting these. If it were hot out, that wouldn't work. And I've also wrapped them really well. All right, let's get to the part you probably came. And if you don't, if you like a thrift haul, um, I went to two Goodwills, like I said, which are the most expensive place I thrift. I uh, I like the church stores and the little mom and pop shops the best, but they're not open on weekends. And I wanted to get a lot of good inventory in this weekend. Spring break's coming up. I won't be in town. And I do have a friend staying here to fulfill orders. And I will be thrifting on there because I've never been to the bins. We're going to Gulf Shores, Alabama. There's one in Pensacola, Florida, right down the road. 43 miles or 43 minutes, like 30 miles away. And I will be spending one day of my vacation there um, alone because my husband hates it. And my kids probably would not. And uh, that is what I'm going to treat myself to. But... Poshmark is paying for a big portion of this vacation. Me and Poshmark combined. So I'm going to start with the two odd and end 
random things that I found. Um, I'll start with the most random thing that I just couldn't pass up. It was only a dollar. Wow. This is, um, I saw on a trend video that, it's big too, that red, white, and blue is super big. I, I don't think it ever goes out, but it's very sequined. It doesn't have like a name brand tag, but they actually had it marked up to $10, but I'm in the Goodwill so much, the guy's like, hats are a dollar. Why would they do that? And he did give it to me for a dollar. I didn't even see the markup. So I'm thinking that someone has to have this and not 4th of July, baby. And this, it looks like someone wants to get it for Christmas or just recent because it's springy. Um, fannies are in. It's still got the, looks like original stuffing and it's got an inside zipper. A good size and it's a really pretty sage green floral print so I don't know that tag but I know it's new with tags and it's got a really adjustable waist and so it looks like it would fit many sizes so I was excited to find those and okay oh we're gonna do shorts next so they're not hanging I love shorts not the biggest fan of jeans or pants in general, just because I don't feel like I have to pho photograph them very well. I do have a new phone. I got the S10, and it has made the the camera quality, picture quality on my everything so much better. Um, so I have really appreciated that new camera. All right, these are. Karma Blue. I did the comps on them. They're not great, but they're not a red, white, and blue theme. But they weren't bad, and they've got the raw hem, which we all like, the cutoff look. And they're size 6, which is a decent size. They're in really great shape, good distressed, you know, not distressed by hand. But the comps were decent, and they shorts, they rang them up as kid shorts, so I think I might have paid $1.50 for them. So not bad. These I just got because they were color of the day or the week. Um, our Goodwill does half off, whatever. The, and they are champion mediums. And they're just, they look brand new by the way that the string is tied. And, you know, they're, they were 75 cents. So if I can sell them for 10 bucks, it's a great day for me. These. All of this has been steamed and cleaned, except for these, apparently. I missed the tag. Um, I wouldn't normally pick up Body Central, but these were too cool not to. They are size 13, which is a good bigger size. I'm a bigger girl. Bigger sizes sell better for me and a lot of the others that I watch, but I'm not. I do. I pick up the extra smalls and the extra large and 2Xs and plus and men's. I am picky about what I get, but I'm not so picky about the size. And these, I have only seen... Whoa, we're losing... Hello. Sorry, y'all. I'm really new, and if you bear with me, I swear I appreciate it. Escapada. Comps on them are good. Really fun, nice, lightweight, almost silky feel. What material are they? I didn't... They are rayon, but they are very silky feeling. They feel like great for the beach. I've got beach on the brain. Vacation is so neat. And the buttons on the shorts, they just, they look like a really good brand. We'll find out. They will be listed. Because once I get through this video, I'm going to list all of this. So if you like something you see, and then you go to Cat is the Boss on Poshmark, let me know you watched. And I'll give you a heck of a deal. All right, I'm done with winter stuff, but I couldn't pass this up because it was color of the day. So it was a dollar. I think women's shirts are a dollar or two dollars, so half off of that. Um, it is just neat, and it it's black's not my favorite to photograph. No one's, I don't think, but it's just got so much cool detail and I'm trying to tell you the brand. I did look it up briefly, but Boston proper. I have found that labels that are boring 
usually are really expensive. In this actual, I found the actual sweater. Um, the comp is good on it. Like I said, it, you know, even if it sets some the next time it's cold, it's not bad because, um, because it was a great deal. One dollar. Hold one second. All right. Sorry about that. This, this guy, which I'm not in the best place, but it is Guess, new with tags, but it's TJ Maxx tag. That's okay. Um, silk, it was, dresses are $4. It was the blue tag, half off. Really strappy, really cute. So for a dollar, um, two dollars, whatever, I couldn't have messed it up being Guess and Silk and I don't know much about it. I didn't even look. So I just will have to find out when I, when I very, alrighty. Moving right along. This was one of my favorite finds. It is a cropped Harvard crew neck. And it is actually division of Harvard. So it's actually official Harvard. Um, it's lightweight. I think it'll be a great piece. I don't know why I hung all this. Because it's just going to the mannequin or to the flat lay. But I did. This is my first one. I appreciate you bearing with me. And, um, okay. Moving right along, like I said. I keep saying that. This was a plus size. This is actually could fit me. Um, I love the Aztec. I love... The flowy, I love the beachy. It may not even make it to my closet. It is Curvy Lily. It's a 3X. Never even heard of it. Didn't even check the comps because I knew that if it didn't do well or sell well, I would keep it. So that's that. All right. This is a brand I never pick up because it's just Old Navy, but it is really neat. It looks vintagey and it ties in the front. And it feels really good. There's no pilling. It's just a really cute, really in trendy tie front, vintage looking rebel tee, medium. So, alrighty. Um, this brand is Jealous Tomato. I pick it up almost always if it's nice. It's a little Aztec slash Paisley print. Extra large, great size. I enjoy Jealous Tomato and the other, well, the other tomato brand. They do pretty good for me. Did they have pockets? One of the dresses I got today had pockets. That's always a plus when they do. I'm wearing a romper pantsuit right now with pockets and it's handy dandy. Um, so, move it on the hand. I don't want to get wrinkled. But yeah, that Jealous Tomato does well. It feels really good. Great quality. Um, it's got handwritten numbers on the inside. Let me see that. I don't know what that's about. Oh, $21.99. So whoever. And it is polyester spandex. But it feels really good. It feels like it's never been washed or worn. But. Of course, I can't list it that way because I don't know because it's from the Goodwill. And that was also the half price, so it was $2. And keeping it up. We'll keep up with the dresses. Um, This brand, I still haven't really done much research on, but it was in the kids section. But I don't think it is kids because it's all belongs. It's a tall kid. It's a small VLD. I don't know anything about that. I know it felt really good. I know the print is pretty. I know it'll look good on the mannequin. I know that I can never fit it in a million years. <laughs> um, I have three kids. Poly spandex, same thing. But it's very beachy feeling, flowy, perfect for the transition season. It's got the, not cow neck, but the like, yeah. So we like this. And we'll see how it'll do. When it's when I get stuff pretty cheap, I will grab it, not knowing anything about it. And, you know, if, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. Slow dime, fast nickel. I'm all about both. 
This brand I've just recently started finding, and I found two pieces from Day Trip. And it is almost tie-dye looking, boho. It's got the detail on the, um, it's like a racer back. It's very cute. I think it's the size is down here. Now, I'm sorry if this is the horriblest, most anybody made this for. Um, it's a small, but it's definitely an oversized small. Because my daughter, she's 10, but you know, sometimes the small is tiny. She tried it, and it was like swallowing her. She's like an extra, extra small if, but sometimes the smallest fit. But this is a good, really cute top. Day trip, I actually found it in the comps. It looked pretty good. And so we grabbed it. And, um... Was excited to do so. Ah, I am so sorry, guys. I am really working on this YouTube thing. I never really thought about doing it until Poshmark asked me to, and now I've done a few and I enjoy them. And they're a nice, creative outlet. This I couldn't pass up. It's 100% silk. It's got that dolman sleeve. Um, it was only two bucks, which. For something I don't know about, I don't like to pay for, but it's Whisper. Whisper. And it looks really fancy. I'm going to steam it again because it got, but no, I'm probably not actually going to do that. I'm going to just let it, silk is really good on its own. Just let it be, put her to the side because she's special. I think 100% silk just feels so good and so amazing. Oh, what? when I was showing you shorts, I'm going to show you these. These are new with that. I can't have TJ Maxx tag, but these actually have the Calvin Klein. They're men's. I love getting men's stuff because it sells well and quick. And they're just some basic boot cut jeans. But they're new with that Calvin Klein. Half off. And, ah, oh my gosh. If that happens again, I quit. <laughs> Not Poshmark this video. You got a $59 MSRP tag on it, so someone either never wore them or clearly they never or never didn't like the brand. Calvin Klein, it's a classic. If you if I can find a new tags for a couple bucks, probably gonna pick it up, especially if it's men's. <sighs> graphic tees were something I was like anti graphic tees when I first began, and Empty Hanger she does a lot, and I was like wow. And then I started picking them up, especially bandies and stuff, and they sell. So if they're cool, I, I get them. This one is the brand IML in my life, I think. But it says IsaacMorris.com. I'm not sure. But it says, let's make a panda. Not 100% kind of, sure what that means. But it was a cool graphic tee. And sorry. I'm adjusting again. Let's make a panda. Like I said, don't know much about it. Looked cool to me. It was 75 cents, so I couldn't really go. You can really pass it up. Same thing here. This one's called Grave Digger, and it's got... I, and black, like I said, it's so hard to photograph, but my new camera, which I think I've got a filter on, so this may not be coming through as good as the actual pictures, plus the lighting is weird. Let's try. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah. This is, um, Grave Digger. It's graphic tee print on the front and the back. Didn't even look it up. The Goodwill is about to close. And I don't know if your guys' Goodwills do this, but one of ours does, and it's so rude. About an hour before they close, like, every two minutes, they're like, we're closing. Bring your stuff up. Like, you know what damage I can do in an hour? Because I got there at 20 after 4. They close at 5 on Sunday. I live in Kentucky Lane. And it really, it really makes me feel rushed. But then I thought about it, and I'm here to pay, and they get a lot of money from me. So I didn't rush, and I stayed until right 5. I, I get they not don't want to stay after. I just couldn't imagine making those announcements. I get making one or two, but making them every two minutes, the hour prior to close, not feeling it so anyway that's their problem oh this i did look the comps up on <laughs> i told you i'm feeling beachy it is 
Baba, Baba, Hawaii. And it is just such a beachy little, throw it over your bathing suit or wear it out to dinner or whatever. Just go to the beach. And um, spring break for us is April 1st through the 7th. So I know I've been making online purchases for spring break for myself and my kiddos. And I figure other people will be too. And for the summer and for, you know, this is just screams, take me to the beach. And it has some great comps. So, and it's a medium, I think. Um, poly spandex. It's like the fabric of the day. And I just enjoyed it myself. Made me want to. Guess what? Go to the beach. Tie-dye is the big all the rage. This one, it's LAT. And I think that means LA t-shirts. But it's got almost like a hamburger sequin gemstone, rhinestone thing. But it's a really nice quality t-shirt. It's not like hand tie-dye, which I'm not opposed to. Um, but I liked it. It's a slump mall women's. It's I figured that someone might want to crop it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Or I might give it to my daughter because I see a flaw. That I didn't see before. Where they put the dang tag in. Hmm. Yeah, I probably will just give that one to my daughter. Well, <laughs> that happens. We know this. If you're watching this, you probably thrifted before and got something home. Like I said, I'm staying away from long sleeves. But I couldn't pass up this tangerine. I thought I got the tag wrong. Our Goodwill doesn't put price tags. They put these stems, and that's what you go by for color. So it's the color of the week. And... They change over the color on Saturday, so Saturday and Sunday have the most half off. <laughs> Not for long on Sunday, because they're only open 12 to 5, but it's the Bible belt for you. And I love the Bible, but it's 2X, and it's thin, it's lightweight, it's a great color. It's that bright lime green, it's um, textured like a quilted, but not quite quilted. I don't even know how to describe that, but... I think it'll do well. I'm going to get it listed quick, though, because that season is almost over. And keeping on with the Take Me to the Beach. This is just so pretty and long. And please just wear me to the ocean. And, oh, you know, it's just lovely. And then the brand is Leith, L-E-I-T-H. You see that? I've never heard of it. Didn't even check the comps. It was the half off thing. That's not like me to do that. But when I, like I said, they kept telling me you're about to close. So I felt like I had to hurry up. And it just, I, I feel it will do well. It's got a light slip just under the booty. Because then it's got the, it's just pretty. It's much prettier even now that I'm looking at it at home. So I'm excited about that one too. Dresses, I used to hate to take pictures of them, but with my new phone, I don't hate it nearly as much. It's a lot more fun. Only a few more things until we get to the shoes. Um, This is India Boutique, which I did look, and it's got the racer back, the lace, the green stem. Be careful with those because you just saw the damage. Um, I'll be more prepared next time, guys. It's got a lot of detail. It's got a really good feel to it. And I believe this is the one. One size fits all. Well, that really... <laughs> One size, yeah. But, clearly, we're not all one size. Um, I think it just means small. Uh, I will do the measurements. But I would say, definitely a small medium. It just, I couldn't pass it up because it was a buck and it was cute and it was, it was meant to go home with me. Um, 
This is another really neat tie-dye piece. I looked up the brand. Didn't find this exact, but it's Bobo. Bobe. Bobe. I don't know. It feels really, really good. Silky almost feeling. It summer. It screams beach. Tell me to scream beach one more time. <laughs> it's a medium. It's rayon. It's lovely. I couldn't. Well, I didn't even. I, I look like I said. I looked at the brand. The brand had some good. Um, yeah, if it was n like an extra large or two X, it would stay with me. Too bad. Not meant to be. And okay, another pair of pants. These are another thing I looked up and only found brand, not actual um, item. But, you know, after you've been doing this for a while, and I have been since 2017, not YouTube, <laughs> um, reselling, you can kind of start to tell what sells, what's good, what's not. This is Rewash. They're medium. They're not Palazzo pants, but they're high-waisted. They've got looking like flamingo flowers on them. The bottoms are not huge, but they're just wide leg. And the wide leg I know is in. I'm wearing wide legs right now on my romper, jumpsuit. I think it's because they're pants. Torrid is my favorite thing. Unfortunately, I paid full price because... Oh, Torrid never seems to. Yeah, the tag's like really detailed. Um, yeah, I think these will do well. They feel like brand new. There's no pulling in between the legs or anything. So, and they're high waisted, which is cool. Oh my. Okay. My setup clearly is flawed today. I'm at my desk desk. I have a shipping desk over there. Shipping desk over here and like a work desk over there. Let me get another desk. Why don't I? This is <laughs> like my computer desk. And and I'm, my computer's right here. My phone is right there. Not doing that well for me today. Oh well. It'll be alright. Um. What? I don't know. That's it. Oh no. Okay. Okay. There's just a few more clothing items. This is Air Apostle, which I don't never ever normally get. Don't never never. I swear I went to college. It's a large, so I figured a guy or a girl could wear it oversized. It's a really neat tie-dye print. It's so buttery soft. Um hundred percent cotton. It's got a pocket. It's that really cool in trendy vintage tie-dye. And I would have grabbed it no matter what the brand. It just happened to be Aeropostale. Ah, oh, this is one of my other favorites. Um, like I said, I was trying to stay away from long sleeve. But long sleeve. We love Lilo and Stitch in my house. And this is a cropped ladies large Lilo and Stitch hooded furry hood. This can't have been washed, and if they did, they are great washers. You can just tell it, and you can tell by the Disney logo that it's not, like, five below Disney, if that makes sense. And Cunny Rags. I say these people like I know them. <laughs> I watched a lot of their videos before I ever made one. Um, and I'm sure they probably watched a lot of videos before they ever made one. So, she's great. She's from Michigan. And I knew that by her accent before I ever heard her say it. That sounds so stalkerish, I swear I'm not. But this is a cropped Ohana means family. Very white. On white, you got to really check everything. The sleeves, you know, this was not ever worn. I can't say that, but I'm going to say it seems to be in new condition or something to that effect. Because it is just very pristine, crispy white. And that's... Um, an amazing rare find at the thrift store. And, all right. We want to do some shoes. We're at 30 minutes. Oh, boy. I tried not to lollygag, but lollygagging. These are born. They were the color of the day. I don't got the stickers off yet. These do really well for me. 
all these type of shoes, Dan's Go Born, Soft, Naturalizer, anything that's orthopedic that's comfy and cute. But these are like a patent leather shiny. They look really, really new. I don't think they've been doing much walking. And also, I can tell because it says bornshoes.com and that's the newer thing. And they're leather. And they just do really good for me. And they're really, you know, I do the bin test on these type of shoes. And they're, and to, um, quick tip, I don't have it nearby, but goof off is, um, super glue remover, I think. <laughs> it smells really weird, but in a kind of a good way. Um, because some of these bad boys get stuck. And I wouldn't suggest doing it to clothing, but. Or some certain types that may be suede, but I'm going to, because I'm trying to peel with my nail, and then, how you hurt yourself. I hate the stickers, but I, I like that better than them writing on the bottom. I don't know, sometimes I can get the writing, I guess I just wish they would not do either, but that's their store. That's a funny story, because my ringtone is Macklemore, and it has been forever, like, I'm going to book, and, um, my phone started ringing while I was there today, and I kid you not, I don't even think it was a reseller, but something I always see at all the thrift stores locally, and her phone went off, and it was the same, and she was like, man, I've had this on there for years, and I was like, so have I, and um, yeah, that's a funny story, because it's not a new song, <laughs> just one of my favorites. These are Lucky brand wedges, the, um, the cork. They are in really, really good shape. They're a really cool style. I've never seen them. Um, size to be determined. Oh, here we go. Eight and a half, great size. Stupid. <laughs> Guys, if you've made it this far, bless you with all the camera drops. I am going to learn how to what is that green dot in my hair? See? <laughs> I'm a real person. Some of you YouTubers are so good at it. I'm not one of those. But I think that I, I like to watch the people like me the most. Not, I mean the real people. Like people that kids are crying in the background. Or they get a mess behind them. Or, you know. So that was another good find. These I scooped up because they were... I forgot about these actually. Didn't even, they were store was closing, like I said, so they were trying to run me out. And they're called Studio Palo. They look nice. They still have their little clear their clear sticker on the bottom. They weren't worn, but maybe one or twice. They were well taken care of. Everything is in great shape. Um here's the Studio Palo, if you can see that. They looked really good. The cork. They just looked good. So, and they were $2. And, all right, so, y'all tell me if this is weird or not. So that, like, someone's really here to tell me. Empo, Empo does good for me, always. Every pair I've ever gotten has sold. I think it's an older people brand. And then always says a style. It's a Raz. I love stuff that says a style. It takes so much less time for us. You know, I think if you, people that know a certain style they're looking for, it's great for keywords. And also, when you're just looking it up, it, you can learn a lot more about it. But I've actually picked these up like three or four times in the last few days or weeks, and they've all sold. I don't have any more, and I haven't listed these, so they'll be getting listed tonight. Um... Yeah, and they're just some just little wedgy, kind of strappy, black and navy blue mix, which I like the mixtures because you're not supposed to do that according to old-fashioned laws. And we have these are just um just some white mountain. Their flip flops are a dollar. They're cute. They look really good. They kind of remind me of Birkenstock. Never even heard of White Mountain. Does I mean, I don't think it's Walmart, though. This is a really strange, um, a strange haul for me. Because I usually go to the really 
thrifty thrift places. <laughs> and what I mean by that is locally where I live, there are quarter stores, fill a bag for $5 stores. And I spent a hundred bucks on all of this. And then I got also several things for my kids that you're not seeing. So it's like, not like I was ripped off because there's actually, I've already posted one outfit and sold it. And it's um, Jude Connolly, if you look in my closet, because it's already wrapped up, and I'm not editing that in. But it's a two-piece outfit, and I found them separately, but, and it sold for $50, $48, something like that. So a good portion of, off of um, one little outfit. These are Mango, size 40. They're my size. Um, I could tell they were good. And MNG, I can probably get a lot of that scuffing off. But the top has like none, so I don't think they were worn very much. And they just looked really good, and they're a dollar. So what it, what it said, they said that sandals and flip-flops are a dollar. If they're rubber, this girl tells me. And I'm like, okay, but I bought like eight pairs of flip-flops the other day. Some were rubber. There was some uh, Sam Edelman, very leather. There was a pair of Berkey's, and they all, they were all ring up as a dollar, and she's like, no. But, whatever. I think they were the color of the day, so. And that looks to be it, guys. At least that's all that's in reach for me. And I have a lot of listing to do, as you can see. I'm trying to get tons listed before I go on vacation. Um, and then have my friend be on, I'm going to teach her how to, print labels and do all that because she's house sitting and gonna feed our fish because we don't have a dog right now my kids act I'm so sorry I'm professional that is why I'm not professional youtuber no I, I do enjoy doing these videos because I enjoy watching them and I do think I'm pretty good at what I do um, I've got 10 packages I've already wrapped and I'm looking at seven labels, and I haven't checked Posh in a little bit prior to this video and this 37 minutes into this video. So, 17 sales on Sunday. And someone has, I've heard people say Sunday's their least busy day. There's no least busy day for me. I could have 17 sales on a Tuesday morning. Um, my average is about 20 a day give or take and so I feel like I'm doing something right and I, I for for a long sorry, for a long time I didn't feel like I was doing anything right I was having maybe 20 sales a month but I wasn't giving it my all so it's not going to give it all back to me anyway without any more of your time if you made it this far you are my bestie my PFF posh friend brother <laughs> please make my arms look bigger so I would love to hear any feedback or like never make another video cat because you suck would even be fine. I can handle it. And um, I really enjoy the reseller community. We're a small community, but we're usually, you know, from what I found, sorry about my hair too. Um, when you're recording yourself, yourself, you notice a lot more of the crazy. <laughs> um, but uh, we know the struggle we know what it takes we know it's hard work and it's not just buying stuff and selling it and making really quick money really fast there, there are those quick flips which we all thank god for but there are those endless pickings and you know spending all day feet hurting photographing and i honestly probably should look into getting an assistant uh, i have my best friend that helps me she just took a bag of shoes home with her Thank, bless her little redheaded Samantha Joe Hart. Um, she's she actually works at a thrift store. Perk, 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 perk. <laughs> um, so I've kind of taught her what brand, and I go in there and pay for them. So it's not like, but if there's something that comes in, she does let me know about it, and that's handy dandy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. If there's something that you saw that you liked, it'll be listed shortly. And I would love to give you an amazing deal for telling me you saw it on here. So just comment um, either on here or on Poshmark once you see it, you know, or reach out to me on Instagram. I'm Catwalk, Catwalk, Cat with a K, 
underscore posh boss. And then I am cat with a K is the boss, all one thing on Poshmark. This Instagram is catwalk with a K underscore posh boss. And then cat is the boss with a K on on posh and i would love to hear back from anybody that has anything to say um constructive criticism or hey i liked your video or i like that item or you know what's it like living in owen's broken Kentucky? <laughs> and uh i will be seeing you guys because i like doing these videos whether you guys like them or not my posh room is a hot mess as you can see but i will get to it it's not going nowhere. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get this video in. You guys have a great day. And keep washing, keep happy, and happy St. Patrick's Day because it is March 17th and I have not a lick of green on. Bye.